Bonjour gamers, Cody here. How you doing today, bud? Gamers, today we got to talk about the massive bot ban that just happened in Lost Ark. I'm really happy this happened, and I kind of want to talk about my feelings towards it, because I'm going to be honest, same way house, when something negative happens, I, it kind of makes me feel negative. I want to cover the things that are positive as well, uh, to balance the scales. But before we jump into it, you guys know the drill. If you enjoy my content, be sure to sub to the channel. If you like the videos, be sure to like them, and check me out on Twitch. If you're hearing my voice right now, I'm already live, Phoenix and Lost Ark, maybe playing my OSRS Iron Man, who knows, baby? Click that link in the description box down below, and lastly... Join the community Discord. It's filled with a bunch of incredible gamers. If you don't anything out with, chat with, and play some video games with, I would highly recommend it. Stop being a lonely nerd in your room and be a lonely nerd in your room with people talking in your ears in Discord. <laughs> now let's jump into this video, baby. So there's two things I want to touch on because there are two things that I feel like brought joy to me. I'm going to be honest. The same way how whenever something bad happens, it kind of makes me feel a little, a little shitty. Um... I want to cover when something good happens and when I feel like they're taking steps in the right direction for the game. And a massive ban wave like this is exactly that thing. Uh, this morning, I opened up Reddit. I saw it was a massive ban wave in the game. It looks like they banned a ton of bots and they also banned a ton of armed tiers, apparently. I'm happy. I think that this is a good thing. I think people who are armed tiering should 100% be punished. I think being on top of banning bots should be something that I ho that they I hopefully in the future they start trying to stay more on top of. Uh, because, you know, we are only getting ban waves every, like, couple of months right now. I do feel this being a monthly process would be nice. But again, I'm happy to see that they haven't just, like, completely abandoned the project type thing. And they're actually still trying to ban bots. And hopefully, uh, with this ba massive ban comes also measures to prevent botting. The second thing that I wanted to touch on, and I feel like this is something that's really important. And it's something I saw yesterday night. Was that Rox had commented that server merges are actually something that is being worked on. Uh, it is still not ready to work yet, but things like EU West and EU Central are going to be merged. US East and US West are going to be merged. I'm actually really happy about this. I'm happy that this is something that they are actively working on. I'm happy this is something that they are still working on in the back end. And we are going to be seeing in the game. It's not just like a thing of like, oh, we could potentially do this. It might be coming. But having a concrete answer that this is something that is coming to the game. This is something that they are working on. It's good, man, because I'm going to be honest, the EU West gamers are down bad. Uh, US, US West, I'm not sure. It seems like they're eating good. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I, I don't really know. It seems like it's pretty active. It's nothing even close to, U, uh, to Europe West. But things like this are the kind of stuff that I want to shine a bit of a light on whenever I do see them. I feel like recently I've made a good amount of videos criticizing the game. And honestly, rightfully so, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Things that I felt like are kind of tilting things that made me not want to play the game if i'm being honest i don't want to play a game where like my region is kind of like left a as like a th third class citizen but also kind of just like left by the wayside where we're our entire existence is essentially a life support system where you could just like monetize skins passively and just release things like passively and not work on the, the issues the game has i know they are working on botting i know that they are working on a bunch of other stuff but I guess it's just nice to see that our region is having some stuff done to it. I am very happy the ban wave uh, went out. I do think that, you know, dealing with bots is a good thing. Uh, I do kind of hope that in 2023, this is the beginning of something new where they actually do more bans like this. Because I'm going to be honest, I feel like letting, you know, the botting situation get to the point where we have like over, you know, over 300,000 concurrent players on literally all the time is kind of insane. There should not be two, you know, two times the amount of bots that there are <laughs> for, uh, <laughs> for each player. But, uh... I'm happy about this. These are things that I want to appreciate because of the same way how my account set being on fire kind of sucks and tilts me. Um, I'm going to be honest, seeing the bandwave this morning made me want to play the game. I know that sounds really weird, but for whatever reason, it just produced dopamine. I, I It sounds very weird to say, but the same reason how I talk about how I feel when something bad happens. Uh, when I opened Reddit this morning and I saw that there was a massive bandwave, I got excited to play the game. I guess this kind of speaks volumes as to how I feel towards the game, and I think a lot of the, maybe whenever I feel burnt, or whenever I feel like I don't want to play the game, or whatever it is, like, things that kind of make me feel like I'm kind of confused sometimes because I don't really want to play anything else, but at the same time, sometimes I don't want to log into Lost Ark, I feel like that feeling comes from the sense of, like, I don't want to be on a sinking ship, you know what I mean? I want the game to be treated as an equal, I want the game to be updated, and I want the game to be actually taken care of. Right in our region, I want our problems to be solved. I want our problems to at least even be looked at. Maybe not solved, but at least trying things out, trying to solve them. I really do hope we see some better anti-bot measures in 2023. I hope we see a little less like hands-off anti-anti-bot uh, measures and kind of like a little more hands-on things, a little more aggressive uh, anti-botting measures. But 
this is nice. This is a nice thing to wake up to. I think this is a nice way to start off 2023. And I hope we see more stuff like this in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I've been making a lot of videos like this recently where I'm just talking about how I'm feeling towards the game, but I think the, like, I guess, like, emotional response I had from, like, a band wave in a video game, I don't know. I want to talk about it because maybe there's other people who are in the same position that I am where it's, like, you're kind of in this, like, weird gray zone where, like, you want to keep playing Lost Ark, but at the same time, it kind of feels stinky sometimes because, like, you also don't want to be, like, part of a game or invest a ton of time into a game where you're essentially just, like, on, like, life support from another region, right? You just have, like, patches rolling out in the exact same cadence that they got it, uh, you know, and they're just, like, milking the crap out of you for skins, but then, like, any other problems are not really being looked at. Uh, stuff like this just makes me happy and really makes me excited to be a part of the community and makes me excited to want to play the game, to be totally honest with you. So I'm hoping that we get more stuff like this, and I'm hoping that I get to make more videos like this, because this was a really nice thing to wake up to, to be honest. And as always, these are all just my thoughts, these are all just my feelings. I want to hear from you guys. How do you guys feel about the bot ban? Did you? Did anyone else get the same kind of feeling I have? Uh, I'm actually just curious. I, this, I guess, to get a feeling from the community. Uh, does Did anyone else get like a shot of happiness, seeing that it was a massive ban wave? Does anyone else feel like that similar feeling where, you know, you love the game and you want it to be taken care of in our region, but like, you know, if we feel neglect neglected, it kind of feels shitty investing so much time into a game like this. You know what I mean? Uh, I want to hear how you guys feel about this because I want to know if I'm crazy or not. <laughs> so let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you enjoy my content, be sure to sub channel. If you like the videos, be sure to like them. It helps boost my stuff through the algorithm, helps support me a ton. And check me out on Twitch. If you're hearing my voice right now, you are under legal obligation to come to streams and say, Hey, Cardi! Although I am happy the bots are banned, I fear for the price of gems right now. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for taking some time to hang out with me. I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow. Lie, lie.